Great shot. And God, and God but what does he shot with a crossbow besides a target? And then God, God Probably me shot deer, that. right? If he dips that in a little bit of poison, all he's got to do is nick you. You're right about that, Torres. And if you're crazy enough to have a crossbow, probably crazy enough to either A, dip it in poison, or B, light it on fire before he shoots you. <laughs> it's a crossbow. Right. What if he came out with a crossbow? What if, in a thing of gasoline. Yeah, that's all it takes, Torres. You're exactly right. Listen, just because it's a crossbow and it's got one shot doesn't mean the one shot can't count. Remember, one shot, one kill. Thank you, Alfredo Torres. It's like this. You're not thinking about the one shot. You're thinking Where did about he go. Why was he on the phone? Because he had to go get his car fixed. Oh, okay. You're not thinking about the one shot. You're thinking about if it, this dude's bringing back a crossbow. Dude, if so, what the hell else is he gonna bring if back? If somebody's with? pulling a gun on me, I'm afraid. If somebody's pulling a crossbow, I have a puzzled look on my face. Like, what the hell is he doing? But I'm scared. That's what I'm saying. You know what? There's a part of me. That's a, gonna, I'm gonna, giggling I'm on gonna, the I'm inside. Gonna, I'm gonna laugh it off a little bit. But dude, it's a crossbow. As you're pooping your pants. It's a medieval weapon. It's funny. It is funny. What if I had a bow and arrow pointed at you? Where the hell are you gonna just you gonna pull a bow and arrow out of your ass? I'm just saying. What's going on here, Fry Tuck? We're not talking about that. We're just saying if he was to show up and point, <laughs> you're saying that there's a 33 percent chance of three people are there. I, I I think we got away from the topic. The topic was simply. Are you scared of a guy threatening well, you with a crossbow? I said no, and I was giving reasons why right, I'm not all right, afraid. All right, and I say, uh, I say yes, I'm probably afraid. Because if somebody too. has a crossbow, they mean business. Risky oh, business. It's a risky business. It's a crossbow, for God's sakes. A crossbow. <laughs> a crossbow. It's <laughs> ridiculous. I love Donnie, man. Cro- I'm going to go get my crossbow. <laughs> I imagine arrows are expensive. They are. How much is an arrow, mustache? Chapel, find out how much an arrow is for a crossbow. Yeah, a how, much arrow. Arrow. how much is just, a crossbow? It's not just an arrow like you're thinking. It's a broad tip. It, it's got a rubber band around it. It looks like this. And when it goes into you, it opens up. So you cannot oh, get it out. Oh, I see. It is not just a normal arrow. I mean, this thing is well, that, that, It's that, nutty. That makes it more expensive then. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds so dangerous. it's not like so you I can would just, rather get shot by the gun than like, get shot by the arrow. It's not like you can just go to somebody's house and go, "Yo, I'm gonna blast you with my crossbow and shoot a couple warning shots in the air because you're wasting valuable arrows." <laughs> I'm gonna look at right. Crossbow so you know he bit. means business if he's gonna waste that much money. Right. Cross. What does he kill? What have you seen him kill with the crossbow? I haven't seen anything. You ain't seen him kill nothing with the crossbow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can. I'll crossbow you. I'll crossbow you. What? I'm gonna write crossbow. Cross. No, we'll put arrows. Crossbow arrows. I'm just gonna write crossbow in. I'm yeah, curious to see what a crossbow costs these days. It's three hundred bucks, six hundred bucks sometimes. Really? Yeah. So how much is his crossbow? Six hundred? Yeah, something like that. Wow. You got a even you got a good crossbow. It's, it's light. Crossbows, compare prices. I just wanna know how much arrows All right, are. Here it is. Here, here we go. Let's go to the bass pro. Seventy five bucks an arrow. Twelve. For twelve arrows. Oh, 75 bucks for 12 arrows. Yeah. That's not bad. Let me show you. What That's pretty expensive. Look at these crossbows. Yeah. Five, 500 bucks, 800 bucks. Yeah. Jeez. You're telling me Donnie's got an $800 crossbow. It's like 600 I think. $600 crossbow. That's like a second tier crossbow. That's a big deal. This guy means business about crossbows. Type in the broad tip. I want you to see this thing. I don't want to see it. I don't care. <laughs> Never going to shoot a crossbow in my life. I might have one shot at me here in- soon. But interesting. I don't wanna... Interesting. We'll tonight, I'm buddy. still more afraid of a man with a pistol than a crossbow. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go to uh, commercials. We'll come back. It's interesting. Yeah, it's very, very interesting. Thank you very much for the call. Why would you still hang out with a guy that threatened you with a crossbow? He doesn't he mean it. He threatened me. I wasn't there. I'm saying, why would you, like, Charlie lets this guy into his house every week. Why would you let him in your house if he's threatening you with a crossbow? Yo, you, you stole my waiter shoes. I'm going to go get my crossbow. <laughs> because everybody knows Donnie's all talk. Don't say that. Now you go come around. You go see you tomorrow with an arrow in your shoulder. Oh, man. You wonder what happened to Mustache. Would you get jacked by some Indians? No, man. <laughs> Donnie, man, I said something bad to him. He shot me with a crossbow. I can't take it out because the second I do, the poison going to sink in and kill me. So I got to walk around with a crossbow arrow with me for the rest of my life. <laughs> Like you know like, like, he, put like, it, he put it through my Ben Roethlisberger jersey. Like it's Custer's last stand or something. You just run out a bunch of arrows and you come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, come man, on, good, buddy. Good, uh, good story. Good story there, Charlie. We'll uh, we'll be right back, everyone. 
You're listening to the Mike and Bob Show. Mike and Bob. Mike and Bob. Dig it. WROX FM, Exmoor, Norfolk, Virginia Beach. 96X. Who's on the phone's ringing, dude? All right. All right. Hey, everybody. It's 96X WROX, the Mike and Bob Show. Five year anniversary is coming up at the Norva, wow. at Granby Street, at Roger Brown's. It's one big, gigantic weekend Friday, Saturday, Sunday, starting Friday with a pub crawl down Granby, where we will get wasted at lots and lots of bars. It's going to be fun. And bring man. lots and lots of people with us and have a really, really good time. It's going to be a good time. It'll be awesome. Mike and Bob Show, five year anniversary extravaganza. Five Rob Manns has been confirmed for the whole weekend. He called Keep me last night. He will be here for the Friday, the Saturday, cool. and the Sunday. Uh, I have not confirmed sleeps yet. I haven't talked yeah, to him. I've been trying, trying to call him like crazy. I haven't, uh, mm. I haven't heard back from him. He's been busy. Uh, uh, I would like to see sleeps. Yeah, sleeps. Maybe be fun. I mean, it depends. Billy will probably go. Just hope the Mets aren't uh, playing the playoffs then. Because you know he's got tickets. Ooh. Oh. I know, I know. He's a season ticket holder. They get yeah. first options. Yeah, sleeps it was. His parents are, so he gets first options on season tickets. Oh, okay. Right. For the playoff games. So you never know. So cool. you, Billy might be at a Met playoff game, which... Yeah, you cool. gotta understand that. I gotta understand that. I think uh, to to will be there. Too. I'm trying to get him. Yeah, I mean, I'm in the lottery. Oh really? Yeah, they have a lottery because oh, season ticket holders and people that have bought packages get first dibs, oh, yeah. and everybody else goes into a lottery. So I'm in. My Dude, sister's in. I think Mookie and Shay are in too. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because we need these tickets. Put as many names Why as not, right? We need well, these tickets. And Saturday we got the uh, Super Diamond concert. Yes. At the Norva. That's going to be exciting. Super Diamond is a fantastic live act. Yeah, the Absolutely. other day I go to my mom. I said, Mom, are you going to come to the Super Diamond show? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? So, Ma, the five-year anniversary is coming up. Oh, I know. How much do we talk about what? Every day? Every day. Ten times a day? Millions times. My mom listens all the time. I don't know what you mean. It's like, come on, Mom. Super Diamond, five-year anniversary at the Norva. Yeah. Really? My mom doesn't really sound like Torres. Sounds, like why that. does your yeah. mom sound like Torres? Uh, I mean, I was just saying. Really yeah, so actually, yeah, yeah, you know, parents um, and family members and brothers and sisters. Nope. nope. Mustache ain't got none of that. No, I do, but they're not coming. Oh, yeah, I don't, want, I don't want them to see the despicable thing I've become. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Mustache and Torres will not have family there. No. On the streets. So that's going to be a, a good time. Get your tickets for that now at any Ticketmaster Box. outlet, Kelly's Backstage Tavern, or the Norfolk Box Office, or you can win them on our MySpace, or you can win them on our show. It's very simple. All over it's place. very nice. Yes, we're we'll give away uh, some tickets next time. We're begging hour. you to go to this thing, and you'll go, because we say so. And it's going to be fun. Absolutely. And exciting. And then Sunday morning, we will have a brunch for the Giant game. Which is at 1 o'clock on that day. Oh, they play at 1? Watch the Red Roger Browns. They yeah. got all kinds of giant televisions. Giants. Yeah, so giants. it's going it's it's to be, be a, good, uh, a good day, a good morning. Super Giants. Super Giants on a super anniversary week. And on all weekend long, the best of the Mike and Bob That's show, right. which Chapel is Working responsible for now. and putting together right now. So if it doesn't Working work, on it. if it doesn't work, we blame Chapel. We'll beat him to what death. All right, we'll uh, go to commercials, come back. We got uh, another excellent phone topic. All you got to do is stay tuned. Uh, X. Recently on the Mike and Bob Show. You're, 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 you're listening to the Mike and Bob Show. Mike and Bob Show on 96X. And now, here's Mike Powers and Bob Fresh. Yo, what's up, everybody? <laughs> they see me rolling. They hate it. It's a nerd chapel. This is really right. bad and dirty. Ryan, Ryan Zimmerman play. comes out of this song. No. I swear to God, I, could, I couldn't believe it. I was like, why? Really? What, man? He's a cracker boy from Chattel, Kellum. Chapel made a bunch of new sweepers. He's, he's playing with the Nationals. He's having a good oh, this season is, this year. This is Chameleon Era. I did, dirty. I did not know that. Right and dirty. This song is awful. Yeah. Yo, everybody, in case you uh, live under a rock or you're not a sports fan, the New York football giants had a great comeback yesterday on the stupid Philadelphia Eagles. Chapel and I were uh, discussing a little football on the way back from Dog and Burger today, and I said, God, that was the greatest comeback ever yesterday. And he goes, no, it wasn't. I go, no, I know it wasn't the greatest comeback ever. It's like a small great comeback. Yeah, it, was that, a, it was a good that, comeback. That Giant Absolutely. game yesterday was an emotional roller coaster because they with, they what, six minutes left, the Giants are down 24-7. to seven. That game was over. Yeah. I mean, we all thought it was over. I mean, it was terrible. We sat there and watched it and going, God, this is stinks. It stinks. And ta-da. I, I got to tell you, we uh, we gave up. But there's a man that never gives up, Frankie D. Frankie ta-da. 
Uh, w. Giants end up pulling out of, uh, they snatched. Huge. A snatched. Huge victory. A victory <laughs> from the jaws of defeat there. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, <laughs> that, usually, cr- that kind of stuff usually happens to the Giants. Yeah. I don't want to apologize to Eagles fans, but I want to say, no, I, feel, I want to say, we got lucky. Because we know it. some Eagle fans like uh, DT and Kaylee Day Eagle DT fans. DT shook my hand today. I, I even told, I was talking to Cassie, man. Sorry. Sorry. That was a tough L. It. That was a tough L. Yeah, like we didn't mean that. I was ready to, I was ready to go 0 and 2. I was, I was emotionally ready to go 0 and 2, and the Giants snaked this victory. Snaked it. Snaked great, it. great comeback. So today on the Mike and Bob show, doesn't have to be sports related. Probably, uh, let's get creative with yeah, it. Yeah, it must be better if it wasn't. Right. Great comebacks at six two two nine six nine six. Great comebacks. Epic comeback. Chapel, do you have a great comeback answer? All right, then get out and go line up calls. Go and line up calls then. 6229696. Great comeback. Now my answer, Bobby's got a, a little bit of a problem with, but I'll tell you why I'm giving the answer. Great comeback. Kiss. The band Kiss, when they put the makeup back on for the second time, made a great comeback. Yes, Kiss always had their loyal fans there. They always had people that went to go see him without makeup when it was Paul and Gene. But, you know, I grew up on that Kiss. I never got to see Kiss in makeup. And when I went to see it, it's a totally different feel when you got Peter, Gene, Ace, and Paul. It's just a different feel. They came back. Instead of selling out one night at Madison Square Garden, they could sell out five straight nights at Madison Square Garden. Instead of playing um, Cobo Hall in Detroit, they played Tiger Stadium in Detroit I mean, and I, sold it out three nights in a row. I understand what you're saying about Kiss. They became but I mean, household names again. I think they were. I mean, they always kind of were. Yeah, but they became a, like people the, wouldn't think about Kiss in everyday stuff. There was like stuff. a renaissance with they were, Kiss. They were kind of forgotten. Like it slipped the mind. Like they were playing New Year's Eve again. They were, they were playing Kokomo's, and then they right, right, now right, they're right, playing right. the amphitheater. Right. They, well, stuff. They, well, they would still be they would still be able to sell out arenas they and had, coliseums. They had their local. They had, right, their, they, they, had, had their, they, they had their army of fans, but their army got bigger once they put the makeup on. Right. People who went, you know, for and for a long time, people went. I don't want to listen to Kiss with uh, some other guitar player and some other drummer or whatever. People felt pretty strongly about it. They came back, they put the makeup on, made billions of dollars, and uh, they, the problem is they won't go away now. <laughs> they, see, they, made a great, they made a great comeback, but now they won't leave. They, they've, they've worn out their welcome, and that's why the comeback that I, I think is huge is uh, John Travolta. John, that's a big comeback. John Travolta went from look who's talking, look who's talking now, look who's talking again, to Pulp Fiction, a mm-hmm. great film. And people went, they looked at t- John Travolta and they said, Wow, this guy's a great actor. I mean, he can really do some stuff. You put him in the right role, he can really do some things. Wow, we forgot what a talent this guy was. And now, it's because it, it had been what ten years, fifteen been a years, pretty long time. He was struggling, man, and he comes back. He does this movie, and everybody loves him again. But now he just won't go away. Right. So I mean, but that was a good comeback. That was he, a huge comeback. He came back, and John Travolta was on Oprah Winfrey, and everybody cared about him again. And you're, you know, my little sister, who's two years, my, you know, she's sixteen years old, going, he's so hot. John Travolta, like, like it's 19, Vinny Barbarino. Like it's 1977 all over again. This guy was back on top. Granted, he, st- he should go away again, mm-hmm. but he still came back. It's still a great comeback it's still story. still a great comeback. Right. John Travolta. Mustache. Mine, they made a movie about. Yes. The U.S. Olympics, 1980, the year I was born. That is come, a great comeback. That's a, a great from behind is that a story. Yes, yes, they, they come from behind in that game. But. I'm looking at the grand scheme of the whole thing. The Russians coming in for the exhibition early, beating them, what, 18-2 to two or yep. something mm-hmm. ridiculous? More, I guess it's a comeback, I guess. It's a big comeback story. And they went, but, but they went out on top. That's that was a, it. I like it. It's a good, it's a good answer. 6229696. Comeback. Let's go to uh, Manny Fresh in a car. Manny. Hey, what's up, man? What do you got? Great comebacks on the Michael Bosch show. Of course, it has to be uh, my hometown, the Boston Red Sox. 2004. That's a great comeback. That is, uh, that might be one of the greatest comebacks in sports of all time. 03, no team has ever come back from 03 to and, win a series. And being embarrassed, being embarrassed in those three what, games. 19, to, what was the score in game two? It was 19, 17, four or something? Three or some ridiculous. Uh, I, I don't know, it was, I know it was real bad. Because uh, the year before, um, Aaron Boone hit that shot. Yeah. When he played for the Yankees. Yeah, there you go. It was fantastic. That's a great comeback. Hey, hey I have a quick question. Yes, Manny. What do I have to do be, to be an intern, man? I used to do radio when I lived in California. You want to be I thought you were from Boston. I am, but I went to college in California. You're all over the place. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know.
know, Manny. Email uh, email Chapel. Email Chapel on our MySpace. All right. And did Torres ever find out who called him the fat ass when, uh, on the debacle? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know it's either. It's foreign to me. <laughs> well, th- well, thanks, Manny. Uh, thanks, Manny. All 